Skeleton UI is a UI toolkit that allows you to quickly develop a user interface for your next project. In this video, we will have a look at what Skeleton UI is, then create a new project with it, and then build a simple autocomplete UI component to understand how it works. So let's dive right in. Skeleton allows you to build reactive interfaces using Swelled and Tailwind CSS quickly. It works by providing different Tailwind classes and Swelled component. It's also theme-based, allowing you to quickly change your applications in one click. Now that we had a closer look, let's install it using the Skeleton CLI. We create a new project example UI by running pnpm create. Here we then choose skeleton app template, a skeleton theme. We add pop-ups, select TypeScript, and here you can select whatever you want. And now that we have the template fully set up, let's go into the root page and create the autocomplete component. First, we install the package using pnpm install and then open source page.swelt. In here, we add the following code. First, we import the components and types that we need from Skeleton. Then create a variable for the input field and the autocomplete options available. Next, we create a function on what happens when one of the options is selected and lastly, we need to define how the pop-up should behave. Next, we are in the HTML code. Here we first create a container for the input field and then the input field itself. Lastly, we create a new pop-up with a skeleton autocomplete component. Now that the component is done, we can run the code using pnpm dev. Next, we will check that the component works. For that, we open the browser on port 5173 and then start typing something like AR and it should show Argentina. And with that, we created a simple autocomplete component using Skeleton UI. I hope Skeleton looks interesting for you and elevates your shipping productivity. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And if you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.